So this right here is your ads manager page. So right here is where you will run all your campaigns. So a quick understanding of the layout, for instance, right now we're on the campaigns. This will be the folder, your main campaign objective. So if you are selling a toothbrush, then we will call that campaign toothbrush. Ad set is basically the groups of people that we are targeting. So this will include gender, age, interest groups, etc. And then lastly, ads is what visual are you selling to these people? Are, do you have an image? Do you have a video? And this is where you're going to see if people like your, your product in terms of the video or visual. So this is a quick layout of business manager back here. This right here is the objective part of Facebook. So what I like about Facebook is they do their best to try to cater to every type of business out there. So for instance, say that if you're a real estate agent, mortgage broker, maybe you're trying to get leads or, or people into a certain funnel, then leads generations are pretty good, right? Basically with leads generation, um, you can have a, a form for people to fill out within Facebook without leaving Facebook. And then it will go into your uh, CRM if you have one installed. Um, say, for example, maybe if you want to get more traffic to your website, maybe you have a sign up sheet that you want people to go to. Maybe you're trying to increase your email list and traffic is a great one. Engagement, if you want people to engage with your website or your Facebook or Instagram page, that's also a great one as well. Conversions is if you're selling something and you want people to come back to your store and either purchase, and in some cases I work with nonprofits, they want people to donate, and then you can see how many people are coming to your website and actually buying or donating the services that you are selling. So the great thing about Facebook is you can pick whichever one you want to do and you can cater that objective to that. So that's great. So it all depends on what your business is. Definitely recommend you take the time and look at each and single one to see which one fits your needs. Before you set up your campaigns and start spending money and get some sales, the, the next best thing other than sales is data. So Facebook has a feature called a pixel. And the pixel, think of it like an ID number, a personal ID number for your website. So by installing the pixel onto your website, you can, you can retarget these people again. Because without this pixel, say you get a thousand people that come to your website. Well, we all know that in marketing, some people need to see an advertisement more than once, twice, or three times. So with adding the pixel, and if you wanted to retarget these people again, you can. Now to add a pixel, you would click on the blue button here, select the the top button here, add code using a partner integration. So meaning Facebook has partnered up with all these websites, right? And they try to make it very easy to set up their pixel. For example, I use Shopify, here is WordPress. I don't really use any of this other stuff, but once you click on one, let's say Shopify, it will then give you instructions on how to install your pixel and just follow along and is an easy setup guide. This is the back end of creating your visual. What do you want people to see? You want them to see a video or an image. Now there's two ways of doing this. I'll show you the quick way. The quick way is say that for example, you're, you already have some content on your Facebook page, on the Facebook page where the audience sees. So you wanna click on use existing, go select post, and what it will do is it will fetch all the information that's on your current Facebook page now. And when you hit that right over here to the right of it, we're going to get a visual of it here. So now in this case, we have very minimal text. When you do this option, you don't have the option of editing this part here. If you wanted to edit those parts there, then you would have to go and do create ad and add the photo from here. And then now you can start editing the information. This is awesome. And once I have a photo here, it will show up there. So these are the areas where you can start creating your ad from the back end. And it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. 
So it's really important that you automate your business as much as possible. If you're just starting out, you could probably sense the how overwhelming it is to keep track of everything, right? So what I like to do is I like to go to Facebook and publishing tool and I like to go to create. And what I like to do is I like to schedule out posts. Facebook has this for free. There are paid services that has this, but Facebook has one for free, which is great. So you wanna select an image or video and you can type in your text up here. This is awesome. And right down here, you want to select schedule. And right now it's Tuesday for me and say that I want this to be on a custom date. So it's gonna suggest a date, but let's say I'm kind of specific. I want it to come out a certain time. So I click here and let's say maybe the 27th and 4.30 p.m., that's fine and schedule that. And this is awesome and boom. So now you can batch out your whole post for the entire week. You can batch out the whole post for the entire week in a half hour session here on your computer. And that's one less thing to worry about for your uh, business.